Okay, so check this out. Pretty good condition in Galaxy S6 here, right? Looks pretty nice. Guess how much it costs. Got your answer yet? Okay, cool. But well, you're wrong. This thing cost me 52 bucks, man. That's a steal. Yo, what's good, y'all? Trail, and yeah, I got pretty good condition Galaxy S6 for 52 bucks. And I did a bid. And guess what happened? I forgot about that bid. And I still managed to somehow get this thing. And you know how in those bids, like it was in the last 10 minutes. But you know those like bid snipers, like they'll get it at the last uh, like two seconds or something like that. Well, that's not what happened with this one. And there was like at least like 10 bids or something like that. So I was surprised. And it was my friend Jackson. Jackson, I know you're watching this video with your YouTube premium. So I had him send me the link. I put in my bid. Then I forgot about it after I put in my bid. And then later it was talking about that I won. I was like, what? I didn't think I actually win that thing because those bid snipers. That like never happens. I didn't think I could get a pretty good condition Galaxy S6 for 52 bucks. Now here's the tragedy part of this. It's not a track phone, so that's probably part of the reason why it's so cheap. And the battery life's pretty hit or miss, like it's not really that good. I wish it was better, but at the same time, it's like, what, five, four years old now? The Galaxy S10's is out now, so yeah, it's like four years old, so it's kind of old. But man, I forgot about how sexy this thing is, man, to be honest with you. The UI and everything, like it's just really well thought out. It still is, but just look at this. Let me go to the clock real quick. You could just see the design on this thing, the skeuomorphic design. I like it. And yes, guys, this is going to be one of the phones I use for my every single Galaxy S water test. So 52 bucks, that's a pretty good deal for a phone that I'm going to potentially ruin. And just look at this. Just looking around the phone, you really don't even see many scratches like at all. The top is where it gets a little apparent, and at the bottom, not really as much, but still, it's in pretty good condition. And just another thing that sucks, I don't know why, but I just can't update the TouchWiz version out here. And you want to know what the crazy part is? I still see people walking around with this, and that's 6 inch. My mom's with a Note 5, so that's close enough, but man, people still out here with this and the Galaxy S5? Like, y'all people bold, man, to be honest with y'all. Galaxy S7, I can understand, but Galaxy S6, that's like dated now. I understand there's people with budgets out there, but still. I would save up my money and find an okay condition Galaxy S8 or Galaxy S7. The camera quality on here, still pretty good. I'm like really surprised, to be honest with you, that the camera is still this good. Like, I'll show a picture right now on the screen of a picture I took outside. Like, it doesn't look bad. Obviously, the Galaxy S10 is gonna just probably blow this out the water but still like you're not gonna be disappointed with this camera now snapchat <laughs> it's probably gonna be a different story but on instagram it's not gonna look bad but yeah y'all i just wanted to show you this real quick this simple little galaxy s6 edge here that every time i turn on this phone it's gonna remind me it's a track phone so thanks track phone and look at this guys look at the days before you didn't have to put in your pin i could just put in my fingerprint as soon as the phone turned on and it'll unlock so watch this so, okay, it's on now. Let me go and put in my fingerprint. I didn't put in a code. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. I know I got this a while ago. I first showed this off when I did the Bixby versus Siri video. But all right, y'all. Peace out.